have you back with us on the cafe. Mark is just finishing up that fijar and apple crumble. 20 years ago, two friends called Reese Darby and Grant Laban decided to form a comedy act. Since then, Reese has become a global comedy star with international recognition, while Grant has had a small role on Shortland Street. <laughs> the best friends are now back together to rekindle the comedy magic that started everything. It is so nice to have you here, Reese. Thank you so much for joining us. Are uh, you too, Greg? Thank you for that. Right. I must start. Okay, I must start by asking you first um, about the X Files. This is one of my favourite shows, iconic show. What was it like to work on it, Reese? I would love to tell you, but thanks to the FBI, it is classified. <laughs> <laughs> so it was obviously very good. It was a dream come true. You know, I mean, I'm into the paranormal. It's my bag. If you knew me, you would Bit know of a geek. that. I am a big geek, mm -hmm. king of the geeks. I like to call myself. Um, actually, that's a bit much. I don't think I'm a king of the geeks. I think yeah, maybe a prince? Well, it's, uh, maybe a... Handmaiden? A surf. Yeah, a surf. <laughs> yes. Right. And also, because it's quite funny, because you play a lizardy guy on The X-Files, and you... Isn't that how you got your start? Somebody said you should be a comedian, you thought they were a chameleon? You said chameleon? So you were practising your lizard moves? Yeah, yeah. When I was five, first at school, um, these little girls used to come up to me and, and go, I used to make people laugh, you know, either intentionally or just accidentally. And uh, <laughs> these young girls said, uh, you should be a comedian. And I didn't know what that was when I was five. So I, I went home, I told mum, and she said, uh, you know, yeah, you should be a chameleon. <laughs> <laughs> and so then I looked that up, it was a lizard. And I went back to school and I just did impressions of lizards. I, I you know, I, I thought that's what I was supposed to be. They said, you know, and years later, I mean, I became a lizard. <laughs> What's all that about? You've gone full circle. <laughs> so I'm pretty much, you know, the rest of my life is just gravy now. I've done it. Nice. I think you've got to, you, you've got to find at the beginning what it is you're supposed to be, and then, and then once you've achieved it, you know, just relax. Work towards it, right? You guys will get there. Yeah. <laughs> Eventually. And um, Grant, you must be excited to be working with Reese again. Sorry, excuse me. Oh, sorry. Dad. Oh, yeah, it's on now, it's live. Apologise. TV3. Grant. Does he do this a lot? TV3. Just, just tune it in. Settings. Oh, no. <laughs> oh, I'm sorry. <laughs> I, I Apologise for Grant. He's going... Just, you're on the phone. You got me? You got me? <laughs> oh, no. Auto-tune. <laughs> Grant. Yep. Grant. Um, we're actually in a live I'll interview. put you in a race. Hang on. Oh, give him you here. What, what's the setting for... TV3. Hello, Gordon. Don't call now. We're actually on TV. No, no we're doing it now. Look, turn your, look at us on TV. We're here, OK? <laughs> OK. So no, I can't talk to you about the show, OK? Just, no, there's no comps, OK? We're going to sell out. So just buy a ticket. <laughs> Goodbye, Gordon. <laughs> OK, cool. Okay. We'll just leave that there. Um, he can't talk to us when we're on TV, Grant. He can get a comp. Hey? He can get a comp. No, not these days. It's not 1996. <laughs> <laughs> People actually come to the shows now. <laughs> so, okay, Reese. I wanted to ask you though. How did you know when you knew you were funny? Is there a moment, is it, or is it when someone says, "Hey, you're funny"? It's it's a weird thing, you know. Definitely at school, uh, in in my younger younger days, um, I, I just see the funny side of everything, and I think that's thanks to my my mum and, and and dad as well. Both very very funny people. And where are you going? Um, Grant's just walked out. Okay. But it's okay, don't. It's... Yeah. Here's the thing, you see, you know, it's about me, isn't it? So. Oh, Mr. Hollywood, huh? Hey? Forget who your, who your big fans used to be. You know, Dad, he's number one, mate. He was there at the beginning. He was there, those shows we had. He was the only one in the audience, wasn't he? You've forgotten that now, haven't you? Done a few movies, live overseas. <laughs> had enough, mate. I'm out of here. That's not awkward at all, is it? Mm. OK. Can we just so carry I, on? Uh, yep. Okay. <laughs> anyway. Like I was saying, I think, you know, for me, oh. it was just a natural gift, you know, and, and it was, it's in your genes, you know, as they say. And um, I think, you know, it just sort of became natural Ooh, for face. me to make people laugh at school. And, you know, I often didn't really care... See, what... <laughs> See? See, come here. OK. Oh, I didn't no. care what the teacher was talking about because, for me, it was more exciting and interesting in life to um, entertain those around me. Okay, so you've obviously done very well. Oh, yes. Um, now tell me about the show that you're coming back to do. 
Well, 20 years ago... Or maybe not do anymore. <laughs> relationship. Oh, he's fine. No, he does this all the time. Will he be all right? Yes, he's, he's moody, you know, what these artists are like. He's a poet. <laughs> so um, he'll come right. 20 years ago, we created this comedy duo, and it was the very first thing I did with comedy, and it was with him, and it was the essence of everything that was to become. And we had fun. There was no, there was no money concerns. There was just uh, what can we do to make each other laugh and, and enjoy each other's company and, and create at the same time. And, and of course, in recent years, I've lost all that. It's become, you know, as you get older and you've got responsibilities, yep. mortgages and, and money gets involved, and I've lost the true heart of what, of what you know, made me get into comedy in the first place. Excellent. I wanted to recapture that. Well, good. We're glad you're going back there. Very, very nice and really nice to chat with you now. But it's now crossover to Holly. It's OK. Mm. It's OK, Glenn. It's OK. Mm. Yeah, you'll be fine. You'll be fine. Yeah, yeah, OK. I've got to do my other job. Sorry. 